three sets of words. Look into the first set now. Acrid, acerbic, acrimonious, exacerbate. Okay. So, these words typically, you know, A-C-R, wherever you have them, or A-C-E-R, they have to do something or the other with bitter or harsh. So, A-C-R-I, that's the root word for bitter or harsh. Acrid means harsh, obvious. Acrid smell means a pungent odor. Okay, certain gases have an acrid smell or a pungent smell. Okay, pungent, a very harsh, strong smell. Acerbic, when I say something that is extremely sarcastic and it hurts you and I mean to be very harsh with you, then I am being acerbic. I have an acerbic tongue, which means that I can easily hurt people with my comments. Okay, acrimonious again means bitter, exacerbate. Now, let's say I already have a wound here. I poke the wound with this pen. Already I'm in pain and I'm causing even more pain. That is exacerbation, which means to make worse a given situation. It's already bad, you make it worse. Then the opposite of this word is ameliorate, which means to improve a given situation. Okay, so amelioration is improving. Now let's look into the next set of words. Of course, from ameliorate, I go to this. To ameliorate, you know, uh, mean to soften. Melly or molly is the root word for soft. You soften the situation, that's ameliorate. Okay, so mollycoddle, let's say you are in a hostel. So after six months, you go home. What happens at home? Your mom cooks whatever you want, takes care of you really, really well. Okay, so that is mollycoddling when you are taken care of like you're a child. Okay, mollycoddle is probably what you get from your mother. Mellifluous. Music, okay, mellifluous music is very soft music. Now look into this, melly is soft, fluous has to do with flow, fluent, flow and all that. So something that's, that flows softly, that's mellifluous, soft music. And then from that you get melody. We all know what a melody is, okay. Then there is emollient. Now, an emollient is a softening agent, okay. For example, let's say you have very dry skin, you apply Vaseline or some softening agent on that, correct. That is an emollient, okay. That's the medicine emollient. Of course, in a general context, it can mean anything that softens a given situation. Melancholy, very soft. Slightly sad music. The next set of words that we see are to do with the root word B-R-E-V-E, -E, brief, which has to do with short. Okay, brief. What is brief? Something very short. Brevity. Brevity is the noun form of brief. Okay. In speakers, I appreciate brevity, which means I don't like people who talk and talk and talk for long hours. I like people who say what they have to say in a short duration. Don't we all? Huh? So that is brevity. Abbreviate. Okay. Now, exempli gratia. That is eg. Ad is anna domini. So you abbreviate, shorten. Bc, before Christ. Okay, that is the shortened form. That's the abbreviation. Next, look into this set of words. Kata and cad. Now, kata and cad are the root words which generally mean downward descent, to fall down. Okay, look into these words. Catastrophe. A catastrophe is a downfall which is Typically of a natural nature.
a tsunami perhaps, a volcanic eruption, an earthquake, these are catastrophes. Okay, so catastrophe, something that is a downward upheaval of a natural cause. Now, something very similar to this is cataclysm, but this is typically of political nature. Okay, something man-made. Uh, political cataclysm can be something like an economic depression or political problems brewing inside the country. So that would be a cataclysm, a downward upheaval. Cadence. Cadence means, you know, flow of uh, words. Okay. Cascade and cataract. They almost mean the same. They both mean waterfall. Now, we know that we use cataract to denote an eye problem where the person is not able to see properly. There, there seems to be a waterfall movement. Okay. So, a cataract and a cascade. They both mean the same. They are waterfalls. Okay. Fall down. That is why you have cas here and kata here. Then there is decadence. To fall into bad maintenance. From which you get decay. The verb form. Okay. So, when something decays, it rots, it spoils. Okay. The house fell into years of decadence. And it is ramshackle today or it is dilapidated today. So, if you let something decay, typically a building, it is dilapidated or it is a ramshackle. Now, these two words are used typically with buildings and not with anything else. Let's look into the next group of words. Greg. Greg is the root word for flock or herd. A herd of cattle, a flock of birds, okay, a group from which you get aggregate or aggregation which means combined. So, you have taken up uh, six subjects in your final examination. What is your aggregate score? Which means I am asking for the combined score. Segregate, when you classify and put them into groups, that's segregate. Then there is congregation. We all know that con is the root word for same. So, same group. Congregation is typically a church group. They all belong to the same church and they congregate every Sunday or so. Gregarious. Gregarious. Man is a social animal. He is gregarious. It means that you are being social. Okay. You tend to remain in groups. Uh, look into what happens in the animal kingdom. The male tiger or the male lion that tend to live alone most of their lives. Okay, The women and the cubs, calves, they go together but the male animals, they tend to stay alone. Okay, So, these are cases of not being gregarious. Whereas, a wolf pack, wolves, they tend to exist in groups, they are gregarious animals, whereas a male tiger or a male lion is not gregarious. He is probably socially averse, a sociopath. The next group of words that we see have the word cod common to them. Cod is typically heart, to do with the heart, the human heart. Okay. Concord and accord, they mean agreement, you know, from the heart. Concord and accord. Now, concord is when everyone is in agreement. Accord is when you are in agreement. Discord is the opposite of concord, when there is disagreement. Cordial, when you have friendly relationships. That is cordial. Cardio. This again comes from cord. Cardiology is the study of heart. A cardiologist is someone who is a doctor who specializes in the human heart. A cardiac surgeon is someone who operates on human hearts. Look into this group of words. The root word here is clause, 
close or clawed, which means closed. Okay, from which of course you get close. The noun form closure, finish. Okay, and then there is claustrophobia. Claustro, closed space. Phobia is fear. Fear of closed spaces. That is claustrophobia. Quite a few people are claustrophobic. They cannot enter a closed room or even a lift or an elevator because of the closed space. They are more comfortable in open spaces. Conclude to finish. Okay. Then there is cloister. When someone is cloistered, he or she is alone and out of the other community, general community, because uh, he or she wants to do some religious thinking, so on and so forth. So being alone for religious purposes, you know, with uh, within a monastery perhaps, or, you know, within a group of monks, that is being cloistered. Then there is seclude. Seclude, you know, is being isolated. Occlude, again, means to close or, you know, finish the process or obstruct. Then there is the root word CIS from which you get CID, which means to cut. Okay. Now you get incision from that. An incision is a cut on the skin perhaps. Surgeons, before they operate, they make an incision on your skin. Incisor, that's the teeth that you use to cut through food. Now, scissors used to cut. Okay. Then there is suicide, homicide, patricide and regicide. Suicide is self-cutting, self-killing. Killing your own self, that is suicide. Homicide, homi comes from homo sapien, homonid. Okay, meaning another man, one of our own race. So if you kill someone else, that is homicide. Patricide, killing one's own father is patricide. Patri, father, side is cutting or killing. Matricide, matri is mother. Matricide, killing one's own mother. Regicide is killing the king. Okay, the ruler. Next, we see nat, the root word for born. Natural, in the state in which it is born. Innate means inborn. Okay. Innate means inborn. He's a charmer. He's an innate charmer. It's an inborn quality in him to charm his way through people. Okay. So that is innate. An inborn talent perhaps. Quality. Natal to do with birth. Now neonatal. Neo means new. Neonatal is newborn. Postnatal. After birth. Prenatal, before birth. Native, you know, you know uh, who a native is. I'm a native of Chennai, which means I'm, you know, born and brought up here. I stay here. I lead my life here. I'm a native. National, you know that pretty well. Now we go to the next set of words. Here the root word is C-R-A-C-Y, which means rule. Crossy. Autocracy. Auto is the root word for self. So autocracy means self-rule. So from which you get autocrat. An autocrat is a ruler who governs the entire country. Plutocracy. A plutocracy is a government or rule by a group of rich people. That is plutocracy. Then there is democracy, the obvious definition of democracy as we all know it, the rule of the people, by the people, for the people. Democracy, demo is the root word for people, population, okay, from which you also get demographics. Demography, demographics, okay. Now, Demography is to do with the population. When I collect demographic details from a certain area, it means that I collect details from the population of that area, about the population. Okay. So, then there is theocracy. Theo 
is the root word for God, from which you get theology, which means study of God, theism, belief in God, from which you get theist, a believer, atheism, atheist, this is disbelief in God, atheist is a non-believer. Okay, now going back here, theocracy, where God is the supreme sovereign in that state, ruled by God, that's the literal meaning.